has a list of molecules here. This one, CO, H2SO4, CF3, CF3, and H2O. And the question is, which one has the smallest dipole moment? So, polar and dipole and net dipole and dipole moment mean the same thing. So, the opposite would be no dipole, nonpolar, no dipole moment, that's the opposite. So they're basically asking which one is the most nonpolar in the question. It has the smallest dipole moment. So you're looking for the one that's nonpolar. In order to do this, you have to draw out the Lewis structure for every single one. Uh, unless you can visualize it or you're really fast, there's no other way you can do it. Can you draw the Lewis structure for the first one? Yeah, so we'll, we can go through it. Well, specifically for the first one, uh, so for all these you need valence electrons. So the first one, carbons, there's each one's at four in the periodic table. And each of the halogens, there's seven of them in column seven. So that's 49. Uh, is that right? Uh, oh, CF, this must be a two. Is that right? Yeah. This is a two. Okay, there's six of them. Six times seven is 42 plus four and four. So that's 50. Okay, so the valence electrons is 50. So especially for organics, you just draw it as it looks. Carbon with three fluorines on it, and then next comes a carbon with two fluorines and a chlorine. So they're listed like that, usually with a carbon first when it's organic. So it just means this. So there's a skeleton, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 uh, of the 50 electrons. Now let's put in lone pairs. This is 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, did I count that right? I must have missed one. No, I'm, I missed one. It adds up. That adds up to 50. Should add up. Is that okay? So there you go. That's it. Everything has an octet. Uh, what's the shape on the carbon? So how many groups are on each carbon? Four. So it's tetrahedral. Each carbon's tetrahedral. If you wanted to draw this in 3D, I would make the backbone, you don't have to do it, there's multiple ways you can draw this, but I'd make the backbone, the carbons, in the plane. And then draw the rest of them according to your tetrahedral shape. So we have three fluorines over here. And the question, is that polar or not? So you ask, is it symmetrical? It's not. Is that okay? It's not symmetrical because there's chlorine on one side. So because of that, we call this polar. So if you look on the list of the ones we had, if you would have done that one first, you, you're set. Because you look down here, wow, if there was just three fluorines on the other side, this would be nonpolar, and this is your answer. So actually, I guess if you just drew the first one, you'd be done. Uh, this one, CO, has to be polar, there's only a carbon and an oxygen. You don't even have to draw that one out. This one, if you draw out, you'll see there's two hydrogens that don't line up symmetrically, so that one doesn't work. 
This one, water, if you remember, we've done it before, this one's definitely polar. So, there's your non-polar, no dipole moment, no dipole, however you want to say it. Is the reason why CO is polar is because O is just more negative than C? That's right, they're different atoms. So, you'd have this, and it's 4 and 6, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Mm -hmm. And then you'd fix that by doing double bond. Still doesn't have an octet, so you fix it by doing that. And there's your structure, but you can see it's not symmetric. Oxygen, your right is more electronegative, so you have a dipole like that. It's just looking at it, it looks symmetrical, you know, but... Uh, except for these two are different right. atoms, so you have to account for the atoms, and that adds to the asymmetric nature of it. So it's not just the structure, it's what the atoms are. Yeah? Could you draw the h 2 so far? H2SO4. So if you do that one, uh, this one has a sulfur and oxygen, so they're all six. So six times five is 30 plus 232. So for these polyatomics, the sulfurs and the non oxygens in the middle, and it's a polyatomic. And then you have. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Is that okay? How do you know where to put the hydrogen? Uh, the hydrogen has to be on the oxygen. So if you have a polyatomic and it's an acid, you're going to put the hydrogen on the oxygens. Okay. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. <coughs> there we go. You can draw resonance structures also, like double bonds in different places, but you can see uh, it's going to be asymmetric. <coughs> Here, let me toss something. Oh, do you have a question first? Yeah, it's like, did you put the hydrogen on that um, oxygen that's on the right? Okay, we can do that. <laughs> Is that symmetrical? It's a great question. Have we we haven't drawn the shape yet? Is that okay? And without drawing the shape, unless you can visualize it in your head, you can't know. It looks symmetrical, but there's no shape here. I randomly, like you wanted, put the H over there. So you have to go. How many groups are on the sulfur? Four, so it is tetrahedral. tetrahedral. So you gotta actually draw it tetrahedral. Oh, by the way, each of these oxygens are what uh, electronic shape? Yeah. So they're tetrahedral. So now let's do their molecular geometry. Bent. So they're bent. There's one with bent. Is that symmetrical? No. No. So then it's polar. Okay? There's no way you're going to draw a tetrahedral nonpolar unless all four groups are the same on the center atom. So it would just be impossible. Yeah? Um, but the first one is actually not symmetrical. You mean this one right here? Yeah. Wouldn't you said first one? Yeah. That one. This one right here? Yeah, that's not symmetrical. So this is polar. This is polar. This is polar. This one's going to be polar. So the only non-polar one is this one right here. The CF3, CF3. And that's your answer. Is it on this one too? No. Any more questions on this one? Um, does this have to do um, with the electronegativity? Of polarity? Yep. Polarity, uh, yes, it does, uh, but the main way I have students do it is just to look at it, and if it looks symmetrical, it's nonpolar. If it looks asymmetrical, it's uh, polar, and, uh, but it does have to do with electronegativities, but it's just a little easier to do it with symmetry. So, yeah. when it's asking for like, the smallest dipole moment, it means if it's not, it means 
Uh, yeah, smallest dipole moment. They're asking for the nonpolar one. So, nonpolar, small, dipole moment, no dipole, all mean the same thing. Polar is the same as dipole moment, is the same as dipole, is the same as net dipole. All, all those are the same thing also. Okay?